orca are the largest of the dolphins. And like all dolphins, they have a lot of distinct parts of their day. So sometimes they'll be traveling, sometimes they'll be feeding, and sometimes they'll just be playing, playing like now. Unbelievable. That's incredible. This is called breaching. It's supposed to actually remove parasites from the skins of the, the orca. But when you look at something like that, you've got to say they are just playing. I mean, if you could do that, you would, wouldn't you? Orca need to spend a good deal of their day interacting with the others in their group. They have such big brains that really they just need time to get to know each other and just to muck around. This has already been just about the most exciting two minutes of my life. Look at that, they are magnificent. And I don't want to chase them. It's very important that I don't go into their space. I let them come into mine. But they don't seem to be bothered by us. Oh, my goodness! It just breached right in front of me. Wow, look at that. This is the wildlife spectacle of this part of the world. Rarely for my crew, they're almost speechless, apart from Johnny on the main camera. It's amazing, man, it really is. I'm very close to him. How close are they? 10, 15 meters, something like that. Should he be scared at this point? Steve? Every one of these orca could weigh as much as a small truck, but they're incredibly manoeuvrable, very, very fast. Killer whales are probably the fastest mammal in the seas, and certainly for long distances, they can travel enormous distances in a day. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. Look at this. They're just coming together right in front of me. They call orca the wolves of the sea, not just because of their incredible teeth, but also because they hunt cooperatively together in groups. And I think that's what's happening around me now, look. I think now I've probably got about 15 animals, all very, very close. It's not just adults here. There are plenty of young calves in amongst them. Oh, it frightens the life out of you when they come to the surface like that. It's like an explosion of air and water out of their blowhole. He's coming right underneath me. I can see him. He's right underneath my boat. That's, he's about three meters away from me. He's just looking up at me. He's just turned on his side and just looked straight in my eye. Wow, he just, he just popped up right alongside me. I think they just really want to find out what this strange plastic yellow boat in their world is. I'm seeing firsthand how intelligent they are. The abundance of krill attracts other visitors to the peninsula in the summer. Antarctic minke whales. Their pointed heads and short dorsal fins give them speed and endurance. And they need both. There are other whales here too. Killers. This is an extended family of mothers and their young. And a male with a huge dorsal fin almost two meters high. A 
lone minky whale. It's just what this group of killer whales are looking for. Working as a team, as they have done for decades, they fan out across the strait in search of their quarry. And they found it. The minke races away, pursued by outriders on each flank. the minky heads for the shore. It's so desperate to escape, it almost beaches itself. It makes a desperate break for freedom. and 20 miles later, the minke is still alive and swimming strongly. Its only real defense is its endurance. But the killers work as a team, with fresh ones replacing the outriders in relays. And as the minky tires, the battering and the biting begins. Seabirds are attracted by the smell of fresh blood rising from the water. try to flip the minky over. If they can manage to keep its blowhole underwater, it will drown. One forces the minky's whole body down below the surface. And then, the final strike. The team drag the minky under for the last time, and the hunters finally can feed. For sea lions to venture into deep water here is very dangerous indeed. It's much safer to stay in the shallows if they can. One or two places, channels enable the whales to get really close to the beach. Those are the danger spots. the beach, the killer has to thrash its body.
No other whale deliberately beaches itself in this way or has perfected this method of getting back to the sea. As long as the sea lions stay well up the beach, you might think they would be safe. But the hungry whales are very daring. Now, several of the whales are hunting in a group. The lion was keeping just ahead of one of the whales, but was caught by another it probably hadn't seen. This savage beating may be to separate hide from flesh. much remains of the porpoise after the whales are through with it. Killer whales don't just target prey smaller than themselves. Off the coast of California, a grey whale and her baby are in serious danger. Once again, computer images give the underwater view of an extraordinary hunt. The grey whale calf is just a few weeks old. It's following its mother north towards the summer feeding grounds in Alaska. They've reached Monterey Bay, where a deep trench cuts in from the sea. As they move beyond the trench wall, the grey whales lose their cover. Out in the bay, the killer whales are listening for that telltale sound, the breathing of a great whale. Immediately, their behavior changes. The killers close ranks like a hunting wolf pack. Killer whales have caught up with the mother and calf. And now the chase is on. The grey whales try to outswim their attackers. Fast swimming pushes up the grey whale's breathing rate. A breathless calf is easier to catch. The killers work as a team. 
Their first goal is to separate the baby from its mother. The grey whale mother is a formidable adversary. She could seriously harm a killer whale with just one slap of her massive tail fluke. One of the attackers pushes between mother and calf. The strategy is working. The grey whales are forced apart. With the baby separated, the killer whales change strategy. Now their goal is to drown the calf. A six-ton orca slaps its tail with awesome destructive power. Under the water, tail slaps are used to stun the heron. Some fish come too quickly and escape back to the safety of the shoal. But most are picked off by the orcas, one by one. Soon the water glitters with fish scales as the orcas methodically consume the ball of fish. By breaking up the herring into a smaller shoal, the orcas have done the humpbacks a favor, turning the usual relationship between the animals on its head. Everywhere else on Earth, orcas are the humpback's biggest enemy. But here, the humpbacks cash in on the colossal fish supper. aren't the only ones to get crash the orcas party. Massive fin whales can swallow 3,000 herring in a single gulp. feed side by side. A unique scene, only possible here because of the warmth of the Gulf Stream. <laughs> 